all the seniors suggested me speed sir so so most of everyone will opt for uh, speed so it is their advice from where i got so speed is better for this uh, so they give detailed uh, latest guidelines speed helps a lot so it is like having so much in front of you to read so i thank them and the speed for guiding me yeah i bring in all the wishes and greetings in behalf of all the faculty members and team of speed to dr bima varam om pradeep yadav for scoring a topmost rank of rank number 11 in uh, pulmonary and critical care and sleep medicine in ini ss october 2021 session congratulations to you doctor thank you sir can we know a brief background history from where you started till date what all you have done sir i have done my mbbs from karnool medical college karnool sir it is in andhra pradesh so next i have completed my dnb uh, respiratory medicine from national institute of tb and respiratory diseases new delhi sir. next i started for dm preparation now i have am made to join names very good why you want to do a dm super speciality because it is an end speciality that already you have done in post graduation what inspired you to do it sir uh, actually it was uh, because of the college from where i have done my pg so initially i don't know the broad perspective of respiratory medicine so initially i was confined to tuberculosis copd asthma so little bit procedures but the institute from where i have done so i have seen vast number of variety of cases so there is lot of scope in this so i have to learn more about the diseases and the, i have to change my approach so it is not only knowing about the diseases but it is also about dealing with the complications and more over with the critical care so there is a good icu exposure so i want to know more about that so that's why i have opted for so whatever it is we have to know the best knowledge so to update my knowledge and also to further deal with the branch great doctor nice to know it we want to know what was your preparation strategy how did you do and what all you have done to achieve this rank can you tell us something on your preparation actually it is all about uh, consistency sir so we should not give up at any time previously i have given three attempts previously so it was like i have missed it from 36 at one preparation 39 in the last session so it is all about consistency and keep on reading so uh, it's all about uh, remembering revising doing the mcqs and keeping updating ourselves with the latest guidelines so what all you did how did you prepare and uh, how many hours you prepare per day and how did you prepare can you tell us something on that actually uh, now i am working as a senior resident a senior resident in a medical college here sir in karnool so actually in morning time till be like opd cases and all so i see you till 4:30 so after 4:30 i used to come and uh, divide the topics so respiratory part and uh, also there is medicine part also in respiratory so initially i was confused where to focus in medicine so so respiratory medicine i was aware of what from where they are asking what are the topics we should keep updated so for medicine part i have chosen to read only the selected all the emergency part topics from other branches of medicine and also i have done this mcqs most of the time i have opted for doing mcqs in medicine part respiratory part all the guidelines i used to follow and uh, more over the cases we see that again that we read it, we go and we read the same thing okay so how did you join speed i mean who recommended to do so and what was your experience sir actually all of my all the seniors suggested me speed sir so we have many seniors so in every session we have our seniors in every session of ini we have seniors joining in different parts of aims sir so so most of everyone will opt for uh, speed so it is their advice from where i got so speed is better for this uh, so they give detailed uh, latest guidelines and not uh, the topic is precise so it will be better so i got advice from the seniors i continue that so how was the class i mean did the senior advise you correctly how was your experience how were the classes good i mean uh, did you learn and was it relevant to the exam actually the focus was initial day it was on the basics so precisely 2 hours the class 
so they will focus on the main things which we should focus on and also the repeating topics so which we should not forget so what are the simple mistakes we should avoid so what are the topics we should focus and what are the topics we should revise more so particularly they tell the exam so i and i will focus here so this is a topic or this is the part of the topic we should focus more so they also tell this has been asked previously so they also tell that this will be asked in the interview if you go if, if this part comes the, this will be asked in the interview so moreover they will start preparing for theory and also interview at the same time and also uh, it is like plan so plan accordingly these many days are there so you should plan you should read this you should read this part so it was like day to day routine okay great doctor now uh, what is your advice to your juniors who are aspiring for dm pulmonary medicine critical current sleep medicine sir actually my advice is just don't think that it is just tuberculosis or copd or asthma or intervention there is more behind that so there is sleep medicine there is critical care and even the there are some protocols which we should follow so this as this is an the branch which is developing very fast even the interventions or the icu part so just go just learn the, the basics properly and keep on reading the cases what we see in the opds or in the wards and uh, speed helps a lot so it is like having so much in front of you to read but we should know what to read and what to revise and what are the important topics so that we keep on reading repeated times so keep on keep the consistency so the topic which you are reading for this session that might be asked in the next session so that will help a lot so consistency is the main thing okay doctor now it's time to thank whom all you want to thank that they have built your career till date sir so all of i want to thank all my seniors from nitrd sir that is national institute of tb and respiratory diseases so it was them who implanted the thought that we have to go further we have to read we have to achieve excellence in our subject so no matter if you want to practice and all so wherever you have to practice just attain the knowledge we can give better service to patients so i thank them I already have thanked them and through this platform i want to thank them again sir. and my parents who supported me since two years they have been waiting i actually i completed two years back the pg so they kept faith in me so i thank them and my family and the speed for guiding me great doctor now once again we bring in all the wishes and greetings from speed institute to you and also wish you all the best and all the success for a great career in uh, dm pulmonary critical care medicine and sleep medicine best wishes thank you thank you thank you